Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Okay, I'm just joking. I am fat, but I'm not Albert. I'm Codextual. Anyways, in my previous video, I've covered how to install your own dedicated server for the El Dorito um, servers and whatnot. But I haven't really covered how to do a game type of how to add your own custom forge, or if you wanted to do like something classical, like Team Slayer, Team SWAT, or uh, free for all, uh, Team Slayer, SWAT, snipers, etc., etc., etc. But I'm going to be covering that in this tutorial so that you can continue on of trying to make your El Dorito server something more awesome. So without further ado, if you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the channel and video, share this on your social media. As we grow into one big happy family, you grow with us, we educate the world, and we'll make your server awesome. So, um, if you haven't installed or know how to install your own server and whatnot, watch the previous video, then come back to this one. If you are looking to do what the title said of making your dedicated server, you know, more customizable and whatnot, then this video is for you. So let's go ahead and open up our server folder. Um... There's a couple of things that, that we need to pay attention to. So let's go, let's, we're, we're going to be messing around with the um, Dorito underscore pref dot config. But before we do that, we want to go towards our mods folder. Then we want to go towards our server folder. Now these, ch there's two scripts. So what we will always want to do is make backups. So let's go ahead and make a backup of that. Just in case if we ever mess up. So it's going to be called... Uh, voting backup, or whatever you want to call it. Now, let's talk about between the voting and the veto. The veto is not something that I would recommend, but I'm going to show you how to set it up anyhow. The veto system is if you are choosing a game type between, um, let's, let's just say that the Team Slayer is appearing and you don't want to play that. You do have a chance with many other players to veto out of that. But it will load up on the other game type and it can be anything random. Um, and it will force you to play that one. So it's either you'll, you take this or we'll give you another one. That's it. Versus the voting system here is you have four options to pick from and that's a more of a broader range obviously that you can Either pick from team slayer team SWAT, or you can play a mini game of infections or attack on Titans And if you don't like any of those first three options Then it'll give you another option to skip out and it'll load up another three more options and it can be something different and that could be Oddball, Griffball, or um, something else. So this right here will give you more of a option, and it's more something that you want to focus on because your players will thank you for this voting system instead of the Rito voting system. Okay, that was a little bit of a um, mouthful. <laughs> Let's talk about the voting system first, then we'll worry about the veto system because... You, you want to favor the, um, the voting system, but nonetheless, um, what you want to do is delete this. Delete one of the two, but um, we're going to delete the veto for now. We did make a backup of it. You want to right-click on the voting.json.example and just get rid of .example. So it will load this config file properly. Now what we want to do is go back back to the main um, root directory of the folder and as I said for the uh, Dorito underscore prefs dot config you want to edit with notepad plus plus or whatever your choice of editing software is so what we want to do is hit control F and we're going to type in voting and it's going to be on line 62 and where it says zero, that means it's disabled. If we change it to one, now it's enabled. So it will use this voting system. Now, if we were to type in veto, oops, veto. 
Oh, okay, so on line 80, it's disabled. You can have either one or the other enabled. So um, if you want the veto system enabled, make, change that to one, but make sure that your voting system is changed to zero. Then all you gotta do is save it, and we can go ahead and close out of that. Okay, so now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and move towards our mods folder again. There's two folders that you may not have, and if you do have, awesome. However, just pay attention. You're gonna right click and uh, create a new folder, and it's called Maps. We definitely need the Maps folder. And we're gonna right click again, create a new folder, and we need a Variants folder. Variants. So we do need those two folders. We're, like, we, we need them. Okay. So, I have a website here where you can download all these game types. And it's called the DoritoHub.com. And there's two um, game types. And I'm going to shout out a certain little developer or forger, or just a Halo player who's really dedicated of making forge um, or custom game types, which is Tiberius underscore Mercer. So we're going to be using his Laser Tag Arena and his Vent Outbreak. And I will leave links in the description down below if you want to use them. If you don't, then, you know, that's you. So on the right, let's say Download. We'll go ahead and download the two. And it'll even have, like, a description of what it is. It has, like, photo folders. If you like the map, you can leave an upvote. If you don't like the map, download and whatnot. So give an upvote. Next, since that we have the two files here, and yes, I've already downloaded them, and I downloaded them again. Um, yours might not say one with parentheses, but either way. So let's go ahead and talk about the maps and variants. With the, we're going to go ahead and open up the, the, the files that we just downloaded. And here's the vent outbreak. And if you open that up again, it will show the folder and it'll pr there'll probably be a readme.txt, which will leave credits or instructions or what it, it comes with, whatever. What we want to do is we want to have the .map folder and the variants. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You drag and drop into where it needs to be at. And now how you want to do this exactly, let's go ahead and... Uh, make that a little bit smaller drag and drop this into the maps and since this is the map folder you want to get rid of the variant now it's gonna be the same steps with the variants but except we're gonna be deleting the map file and drag that drop in and go ahead and remove the map file okay sweet now let's go ahead and do that as well with the laser tag arena and some subcategories or folders are a little bit different or they come with the two folders, that's fine. However, I like to keep um, my folders named the same because it's organized and there's another beneficial or benefit to this, which I'm about to show you once we start getting, uh, start editing the script. So this right here is the map, uh, which we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this folder and the map that contains in it. And right here is the variant. So we're going to go ahead and drag the variant in to the variants. So now how these two are different folders, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that they're all named the same. I like to keep everything all the same. You can do it differently. That's up to you. But for me, I like to keep all the folders the same. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to the voting system. We got, we got the two game types that we want. So it's going to be in your server, then it's going to be your voting.json. And you're going to go ahead and edit with the notepad++. So, as I stated earlier, if you want something classical, such as Team Slayer, Team SWAT, Team Snipers, FFA SWAT, just the classical stuff, that, like, you know, with Capture the Flag or Big Team Battle, I advise you just to leave this how it is. Don't make any edits to it. Um... Unless if it doesn't have the particular game type that you don't want. This basically covers 
most of it, most of everything. It has um, um, King of the Hill. It has Team SWAT. It play this right here. This particular script plays on uh, one, two, three, five maps. A specific map. It's Valhalla, Standoff, uh, Last Resort, Diamondback, or High Ground. So that's if you want specific maps for this game type alone. Because you don't want to play this map on, like, for example, if it's coagulation, if it's like one big map, even though that there's coagulation not in Halo 3. Just saying that for example. Anywho. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of a couple of things. We're going to leave this here. So you're not going to touch line 1 through line 47. What we're going to touch is... Okay, we're going to keep this here from line 49 to 53. And if you want this script, I'll leave a link in the description below after I'm done editing it. So, we're going to edit those. If you want to play it on a specific map, then copy this right here. So, everything's going to be based on creativity. However, um... Actually, no, we, we, we're going to need a specific map to play on a map. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So we're going to get rid of um, line 49 and 53. My apologies. And from then on, we're going to go ahead and remove from line doo -doo -doo -doo, from line 58 through 69. Because there we go. We have two maps that we're going to be needing. Everything else, we're going to go ahead and uh, delete. So from line 64... All the way to once uh, 63, we're going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, actually, we're going to get rid of these two as well. Because they're extra brackets that we don't need. Okay, so it should look like this. I'll, I'll leave a copy down below um, if you want to make modifications to it. So, right here... These two are the variants. These these two lines are for the maps. So we downloaded two game types. Um, actually, no, we yeah. Since we downloaded two game types, sorry, mixing up a little bit. We're gonna have to copy from line forty nine to fifty seven. We're gonna copy that. Hit enter. And we're going to make sure that there is a uh, comma after that. So it's going to look like this. Because we have two game types. Sorry, I got myself mixed up. Anyways. So from the map folder, we have the laser tag arena and the event outbreak. Now remember how I said I like to keep the folders um, the same names and both of them? So... Laser Tag Arena, and if we go back to the maps, Laser Tag Arena, Vent Outbreak, Vent Outbreak. I like to keep everything the same, because if we copy that, and we put in the variant, which is right here, these two lines right here, then right for the maps, which will be right here. Um, if your map um, or variants are different, um, typed in differently, then feel free to copy the variant, whatever that is, and paste that right here. So if that makes any sense. Now as for the event outbreak, go ahead and copy that. And paste that in as well. Oops. Okay. Basically, you're practically done. Um, again, it's everything that you need to know for the voting.json, unless if you're going to add more game types in. If you add more game types in, make sure that this here, 58 and 66, that's that the ending of that, make sure that doesn't have a comma. So if you're going to add another game type in that you downloaded from the Dorito Hub, just copy these lines from 57 to 49 
and it's ready for you to have another game type to be set in place. And it does have a comma. Just at the ending of this, it doesn't have a comma. Then that's how it should be. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, veto system. Now we go back to our uh, server here. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to open that up and we're going to extract the veto system. And I'm just letting you know, you can have the voting system or you can have the veto system. There only can be one. So it's either if you're going to use the veto system, then make sure you get rid of the voting system. If you're going to use the voting system, make sure the veto system is not in. So one of these files has to stay. One of the other files has to go. However, let's go ahead and mess around with the scripting here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the dot example. And now it's ready for us to edit with Notepad++. So it's a little bit the same. So right there is the map, the, or the map names, and the game types. Oh, one thing that I also need to mention is the commands. So if you want server sprinted on, um, zero it means disabled, one means enabled. If you want the uh, server assassination animation enabled, change it to one, numbers of teams, uh, change that to how many teams you want it to be. But let's let's just say you want a certain command to play. So the this applies for both the voting system and the veto system. So you're going to add, um, after this quote here, a comma, then two quotes. And for me, the command that I like to use every time that a new game type is playing, um, I advertise my Discord. So you're going to type in server.say. Then HTTP, blah, 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 your link right there. Then that's it. It'll um, advertise your link. So you just want to be like, hey, uh, please, hey, please join, <laughs> Plex, please join, sorry, I can't type, our Discord, or what have you, right? So this applies to the same as for the voting system and the veto system. So again, after this quote here, you're going to have that comma. And that's it. And make sure that there is an end of quote. Which we're going to add. Do we have that? Okay, yeah, we have an end of quote. That's it. That simple. So... If you, again, if you have like multiple um, game types from 3 to 13, you want to copy that and, oops, and do the same exact thing and just paste in the map name. So maps, which would be laser tag. For me, I like to keep everything all the same. Just keep it simple. And the variant name. It's that simple. That, that That's it. So I hope that this video made sense to you guys on how to script things. It's not that hard. Um, if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, share this on your social media and all that whatnot stuff. I know I mentioned that before. And um, if you guys need any help, feel free to join the Discord server um, or just simply chill and play some games with us. All right, I'll see you in the next video and uh, peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake. As long as you can see me, I ain't worried about a thing.